As we all know, the COVID pandemic is disproportionately affecting continuing care facilities across this country. And sadly, about half of the deaths in Canada are occurring in these facilities. Here in Alberta, we are investigating outbreaks in 29 continuing care facilities. To date, 330 cases have been reported at these facilities with a total of 34 deaths due to the novel coronavirus. Stronger outbreak measures have been put in place to help address the spread in continuing care facilities. Last week, we announced that staff will be required to work exclusively at only one site. Other updated requirements, including mask usage for staff, were established to help ensure seniors and other vulnerable individuals living in these settings, as well as those working, are kept as physically safe as possible. These restrictions are necessary to save lives. But we know this also places financial and emotional burdens on staff, on residents, and on operators. Healthcare aides are integral to the well-being of residents and play a critical role in our health system. We cannot overlook their contribution and we must not lose sight of, of how the, uh, the pressures that they face can directly impact the functioning of an entire facility. That's why we are announcing several new measures to address pressures on our continuing care facilities. Over the coming days, we will roll out a plan which includes the following three. First, increased funding to hire additional staff so that contracted facilities can address the higher workloads required to prevent infections and respond to outbreaks. Second, a wage supplement of $2 per hour during the pandemic to compensate healthcare aides who provide the majority of care in these facilities. And then third, fast-tracking healthcare aid students through their programs using paid practicums to get more trained staff into our continuing care facilities where they are most needed. And this will mean up to 1,000 student placements. In addition, $24.5 million is being advanced to operators to help address immediate cost pressures. We're confident that these measures will make a difference to ensure that our continuing care facilities in Alberta are as safe as possible. We have had four deaths in the last 24 hours, bringing our total to 59. Two of these deaths were in residents from long-term care sites, one at Manoir du Lac and one at Care West's RC in Calgary. Another was a death of a worker at the Cargill River, sorry, the Cargill plant in High River, and the fourth was in the Edmonton zone. I want to offer my sympathies to the families and friends of all these individuals. Again, these are reminders of why we are collectively working to prevent spread of this virus. We have slightly less cases today than in the past few days, with 105 new cases of COVID-19 in Alberta in the last 24 hours. As you know, we have expanded testing access to anyone with COVID symptoms. In addition, we have started testing even asymptomatic residents and staff in long-term care sites with outbreaks and are offering testing to asymptomatic individuals in certain other outbreak sites in order to enhance control measures.